Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Um, this is the second video related to IOC and dependency injection. So if you haven't watched my IOC that video, I suggest to watch that one first, and then come back to watch the dependency injection. Okay. So let's start. Uh, dependency injection has two parts. One is dependency, the other one is injection. So we, let's talk about dependency part first. Okay, what is dependency? Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. Uh, let's give one example. How about that? Uh, dependency, right? Uh, suppose here we have a class. Okay, let's call uh, app. Okay, uh, in this app, it has uh, one uh, feature which is uh, called uh, process message. Okay, and here we have what? We have a receiver, we have the message. Okay, uh, I don't know, put a string here. Okay, you put it by yourself. <laughs> and uh, this app, uh, how to process a message? It will want to send an email. Okay to the user. So here we have another class which is called the email service. Okay. And uh, you know, let me make it uh, smaller. Okay. Have a public void send message. Okay. And here you also have a receiver. Okay. And the message. Okay. And uh, here, let's make it a fake. Okay, system dot out dot print line. And uh, here, we will do what? We will say send something. Uh, send to the send a message to the receiver by email. Okay, fake, fake. Okay. So now the thing is, in this app, I want to use the feature of the email service, right? how to weld them together, how to weld the app email service together. The first solution, which is the most direct one, is what? Here, we have an email service here. S-E-R-V-I-C. Okay, service, right? Equals what? New email service. And then we do what? service dot call send message right and uh, we put uh, this receiver and a message here so this is uh, we how we wire them together right so now app this class use some feature in the email service right and uh, we can say app depends on email service class and uh, in another words email service is a dependency of app so this is how dependency comes okay in one class you using some other you using some features from another class then the other class is a dependency of the class okay in this case app this class use some features send a message feature in email service so email service is a dependency of app app depends on the email service so this is a dependency part and uh, before talking about injection I want to say why this way is not good the first thing, we always talk about uh, P2I, program to interface, right? And uh, here, this is a concrete implementation. So now let's make the first change. We're using P2I, okay? Uh, public interface, what? Uh, let's give a name, uh, let's, uh, let's call message service, how about that? Okay, message service. 
and uh, here we have abstract method by default uh, it's public abstract in the interface okay void send a message right and here we have a receiver and we have msg okay okay and now uh, we do what here we have to implement what implements message service right and here you can add override if you want uh, then it's not necessary this annotation it's a compiler uh, time uh, annotation and if later on you have another class right if later on you have another class suppose uh, we don't want to send by email we want to send by the text message text message is sms right service okay and uh, you have a void a public a void send a message right and uh, same thing here okay same thing but here instead of by email we will send by sms how about that and we still need to what to implement the message service right by this case, we are programming to interface instead of actual implementation. So here we can change to what? Message service, right? But this is still not good because of what? Because of here. Whenever we using new, then your program become very coupled. It's not, it's not, a, it's a, a highly coupled. And when we're using new, your JUnit case failed. Let, let's talk about a second first phase, okay. So I change to message service. Now, I don't want to use an email service. I want to use an SMS service. What you're gonna do? You have to come back to the code, right? To the app, then change this one to using new. SMS service, right? And later on, you don't want to using SMS, you want to using what? Uh, by phone call. Then here, you have to create a class implements. Then here, you still need to change to the other implementation, right? So you are uh, violate the principle open for extension, closed for modification, right? Not good. Second one, second case, J unit test case. Now, if you want to write a, a JUnit test to test this process message. And uh, we know in the process message, this uh, uh, method, you use some features of the service, right? Now, think about it. If your test case fail, can you guarantee your test case fail not because of this service? You cannot. Either because it might the email service something is wrong cause the test case failed you cannot guarantee otherwise you have to come here to change to have a stop uh, a message service then change the code using new that is stop or mock uh, mock uh, uh, message service you have to still need to change the code here right so it's not a good S uh, uh, last thing okay the good part we what the good implementation way is using what injection let me change it to another color uh let's using the green okay spring is green right injection injection has three ways okay the first one is the constructor based okay this part not good what we're gonna do is when we create app this instance right we inject one instance of the message service. So how it gonna be look like? Uh, so we don't have this line here, right? So let's uh, have here, okay? So we will declare a message service, okay? Service, okay? And we will provide a constructor this constructor will accept message service. And uh, this 
dot service equals service. This is the one way. Like construct best. So when I create the app from other class using the app, you inject which kind of service you want, which means when I create the app in another class, right? App app equals new app. You have to give. Oh, here is a new uh, uh, email service, right? Or if you don't want to use email service, you want to use SM, then you create another app using new what thing, uh, SM service. And if you do the JUnit test, you can create a mock message service, and then you create an app, then inject that mock or stuff uh, as a message service. So it has a loose, it's more flexible. And uh, even though you have your app has a dependency on the message service, okay, sorry, uh -oh, where am I? Even though your app has a dependency on the message service right here, okay, you doesn't, they are not highly coupled because you can inject, okay, here you can inject, uh, let's use one, here you can inject, okay, this part is, in, you can inject other implementations of the actual message service here. This is called a dependency injection. Okay, has two parts. First part is dependency. Second part is injection. And dependency injection has uh, three kinds. Okay, the first one is the constructor based. I will show you. The second one is a setter or method based. Some people call method based. Some call setter based. Okay. Which means instead that you have the constructor here, you don't have you provide what? You provide a public void set service. And you provide a message service here. And then using this dot service equals service. So after you create an app. Suppose we don't have this uh, constructor based, okay? After you create this app, equals new app, right? You can using app dot set service, okay? Then you can give a new email service or new SM service, okay? Like this way, okay? There's another one which is provided by Spring. It's called. Uh, uh, it's called what? Uh, it's called a uh, property based. Okay, let, let's let's go back. The last one is called a uh, property based. But this one is using the reflection API. Let me show you here. Uh, let's using another color. Okay, uh, using this uh, purple, purple, purple. The construct based is we don't have this uh, construct uh, property based. We don't have this uh, uh, constructor. We also don't have this uh, set service. Instead, here we have uh, auto while. Okay, so when the application create this app, which is create this instance, it will create. Okay, auto wild. It will create an instance of message service and inject here using the reflection API. And uh, that's it for the dependency injection. First, you have to understand what is a, a dependency, which means a class A using some features of a class B. Okay, so class A depends on class B. B is a dependency of a class A. That's a dependency. Second part, you understand injection. Why do we do injection? Okay, because it make your uh, class, uh, make, make your application more flexible, loose coupling. It makes sure uh, uh, the JUnit test case works. And also later on when we talk about the LP, it also can inject the proxy. Okay, so that's it for the dependency injection. 
Hope after this video, you understand what is dependency injection. Okay? So thank you for watching this video and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.